What is up guys? Zephyr here with another battle today. We have the same OU. I hope this is one of my last of my OU matches, but uh, OU is really not that bad of a tier. I'm actually starting to get really into it since I've become more better at it. So anyway, today's match is a, a good match, I guess I could say. It's kind of good, kind of bad, kind of haxy against this dude named Genesis J. Uh, awesome battler. Not sure if he has a channel or not. If he does, message me and I'll put it in the description. But anyway, let's get into the battle. So, I'm going to start off with my freaking Oko, Meladios, Awesomeness, and he's going to start off with Metagross. So, off the back, I'm like, okay, he probably doesn't know that Meladios has carried Hidden Power Fire. So, I'm going to go for HP Fire as he set up rocks. So, I'm like, okay, Metagross setting up rocks is not unnecessarily unnatural. It's just more fourth genny for my taste. So, um,. He, he probably is going to predict me to go for another Hidden Power Fire. So he's probably going to go for another Bullet Punch. So I'm going to go out into my Scizor, who is this, that, times two. And as he goes for another Bullet Punch, I'm just basically going to take him out with a U-turn. And also I have this Switch Initiative. And I get to switch onto something more with my choice. So I accidentally switch into Alakazam. I'm not sure if that was an accident or not, but I don't think I meant to. I meant to switch out to Shaman. But I'm able to get a slide shot off on this... Uh, Salamence as he starts setting up a Dragon Dance. I'm like, okay, he's gonna outspeed me. I don't know why I didn't go into Scizor. That I could have easily taken that and killed him with a Bullet Punch or uh, scared him out with a U-turn. I don't know. But I send in, uh, him now as he goes into his Fortress. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go for the Bullet Punch because whether he switches out or not, I just want to know that I went for the right move this time. But he stays in, kind of sucks. I mean, he switches out, kind of sucks. And now he starts saying, fights all up in my face. So I'm like, okay, typical. You can scald him. You can scald him and win this. So I'm like, no. I want to wrap this in a way those spikes and stuff up before I do anything. So now that all that is gone, I can go ahead and start cutting up toxic spikes freely as he says in Vaporeon, who really can't do anything but wish, protect, scald, and ice beam slash roar. So. He's gonna bring in Salamence basically to get the wish. I'm like, okay, that's kind of bad for me because even though I still have my Scizor, he possibly could have something like that, the Earthquake, or he can have Fire Blast. So I'm gonna go for Bullet Punch. It's gonna do a considerably good amount, and now he's gonna take him out for Earthquake, which kind of sucks for me, but I can bring in Mil Tank here, take him out with a Seismic Tuff, or so I thought. Because he actually sets up another D-Dance, lives with like 1%, and it's able to get me a very low HP. But then I'm able to luckily kill him off with the size of top. So, that's good. It's good for me. I guess you could say it's good. But anyway, he says in Fortress, I'm going to go for Milk Drink, because I want to be at a good amount of HP where I can take a few moves from this thing. And he's just going to go for Rapid Spin, just to get my uh, Toxic Spikes off. And he's going to send in Terrakion now. I'm just going to set up my rocks again. So I'm like, okay... Well, actually, this is the first time I ever set up my rock. So, I don't want to take a close combat from this thing, and I figure he wants to Swords Dance and Rock Power, so I'm like, okay. He, he, he's gonna go for whatever, and I'm just gonna go for Scald, because that's pretty much the only thing I can do with Terrakia. I can Scald him, and then I can Saw him out to Protect, but I don't really run Toxic over Toxic Spikes, because I figure, I figure that, well, if you have Toxic Spikes, whatever comes in is gonna get Toxic, and that just takes that move basically for granted. I don't know. But I'm gonna able to take him out with the Scald and he sends in his Tyranitar basically to set up his uh, sand I guess because he's gonna double switch out into Vaporeon. Don't know why because I'm gonna set up Toxic Spikes again. We're both gonna take some Sandstorm damage but I guess he figured lefties whatever. I don't know. But I set up my last third of Toxic Spikes. He's gonna take me out with the Scald. It's really not that mattering at all because I lose my Rapid Spinner and my Toxic Spikes set up there, but I think I still have Mil Tank in the wing, so push comes to shove, I still have someone to set up rock. So, he has the Fortress, I'm like, okay, I'm definitely about to go for the HP Fire in this thing, because I don't want this thing getting rid of my Stealth Procs and my Spikes. And if he does, then I can't really set it up all that much. So, I'm gonna go for HP Fire, I'm gonna easily take out the Fortress, because I, it's four times super effective, even unstabbed, it's still a very awesome move. So, I know this thing is going to crunch me, so I'm going to switch out to something I can take a crunch really well, and that something just happens to be Mil Tank. So, I'm going to bring a Mil Tank. We all know my Mil Tank set has Mil Tank, Mil Tank, wow. Yes, Mil Tank on a Mil Tank. Milk Drink, Seismic Toss, Heal Bell, and Stealth Rock. So, I'm just going to keep going for Seismic Toss. He's toxic, and I'm figuring, okay, if I bring in Shaman, I can go for Earth Power. It's going to basically kill him off after Toxic. 
He's gonna go for Ice Beam. Thank goodness doesn't get the free attack. I don't know why I expected free attack, but freezing doesn't really help all that often. I don't know. But um he brings in Vaporeon. I'm like, okay, gonna go for Sea Flirt, and that's gonna finish him off. Wow, I don't know why I couldn't say that. But yeah, that's gonna be the game here. Pretty quick game. Had some very quick games lately, I don't know why, but uh, if you're wondering, I'm gonna pretty much be staying over on this channel for a while. Not really gonna go back to PSF because, well, no one's really watching those videos and I feel like I have a lot of dead subs over there. But other than that, if you like the battle, do like button, rate, and subscribe, do your thing, whatever. And I'll see you guys next time.